Hello, this is Patrick Hickey, and this is my Leaving Cert Classes presentation on the poetry of Philip Larkin. Hope you enjoy it. The poem our group will discuss is Wedding Wind, What You Need to Know About the Poem. This is a poem about a newlywed bride. In stanza one, she describes her wedding night. She describes the wind on that night. The wind symbolises her newfound joy. She was sad her husband had to leave her. She was also sad that everyone doesn't feel as happy as she did. In stanza two, we see the bride's first day married to a farmer. As a farmer's wife, she has new responsibilities, which she willingly accepts. For example, she goes to feed the chickens. She also wonders if even death could destroy her newfound happiness and excitement. Why is it a poem worth knowing? It's a poem worth knowing because it describes the positive power of marriage. We get great insight from a newly married woman. It gets young pe readers to think about marriage, which they may not have beforehand. It shows how marriage is a joyful and transforming experience. Larkin uses a conversational style and a happy and optimistic tone. Key quotes on why the wind blew all my wedding day and my wedding night was the night of the high wind. The wind is a symbol of her newfound joy and love. Stupid at candlelight, he left her and she felt stupid without him. I was sad that any man or beast that night should lack the happiness I had. He shows how joyful marriage is. Can even death dry up these new delighted lakes? Again shows the power of marriage. She feels not even death can disturb her love. The poem our group discussed is The Wits and Wedding. What you need to know. Larkin is on a train journey from Hull to London on Whit Sunday. Newly married couples board the train at each stop. Initially, Larkin is detached from the couples. He is reading his book. In the second half of the poem, Larkin is struck by the couples and the parties. His view on the couples changes from this moment on. At first he was above the couples, now he is one of them. Larkin embraces the happy couples. The main theme of the poem is the transforming power of love and marriage. Why Whitson Wedding is a poem worth nothing. As with many of Larkin's poems, it is a poem where great description leads to deep insight. The theme of power and love and marriage is discussed. He uses excellent use of vivid sensual symmetry to describe the setting. Larkin conveys the transforming power of love and how it caught his attention on that train journey. He also uses a striking simile, like a happy funeral, which is very effective. Um, his excellent use of contrast between the first half and second of the poem is striking. There is a change in tone. Initially, he's detached and condescending. This changes to admiration of the couple. He is in awe at the power and change that love can bring. Larkin is renowned as a bleak poet. However, this poem has a positive and uplifting conclusion. The key quotes in this poem and why they are worth knowing are All windows down, all cushions hot, smelt the fish stock. This shows that Larkin uses sensual imagery as he uses touch and smell to create the scene. He mistakes the whoops and scales as porters lurking. It shows he is detached from the wedding party. Parodies of fashion, mothers loud and fat, jewellery substitutes. This quote shows Larkin is condescending towards the working class couples. The women shared a secret like a happy funeral. This simile shows that there is high and low times in marriages and Larkin is an honest poet. We headed towards London. Larkin now feels he is one of them. By the power that being changed can give. This shows the transforming power of love and marriage. The poem we will deal with is at grass, what you need to know. It contrasts the tranquil lives with the horses with their glory full past. Larkin is nostalgic about the time when they covered themselves in glory, winning cups, stakes and handicaps. Uh, he conjures up the glamour and excitement of the races and the classic tunes. The horses are now retired and carefree. He believes it is a change with which they are happy. The team of the poem is about the passage of time and its effects. Why it's a poem worth knowing. The vivid description of the boring lives of the horses during retirement is very unattractive from teenagers' point of view. Larkin shows that the excitement humans got at the races, this causes us to question our relationship with nature and shows how we exploit animals for our own enjoyment. We see that the horses' lives um, are enjoyable now. They do not miss the races. They are free to do what they want. This shows us that old age, retirement and death are natural and not to be dreaded. His conversational style allowed us to feel that he was talking to us. The poem was very accessible, showing Larkin achieved the pleasure, pleasure principle. The circular structure compared the circle of the racetrack to the circle of life. The key quotes in this poem are Winter stresses tail and mane. 
the only thing that is bothering the horse now is the wind. Stand anonymous again. The horse has become unknown. The industry is done with the horse and he is no longer known. Silks at the start, squadrons of empty cars and littered grass. These all depict a day at the races and it portrays the excitement. Uh, flies plague their ears like memories. The memories are, are causing them distress. They shake their heads, um, which shows they are no longer bothered. Uh, they have become carefree, which appeals to a younger audience. Unlesting meadows, free from the hardship that racing brought. And stand at ease or gallop for what must be joy. This shows the horses' enjoyment of their present lives. Uh, the poem we discussed is Ambulances. What you need to know. It's a poem about debt and Larkin's insight on debt. It tracks the journey of an ambulance makes and how it affects lives. It shows people debt is random and everyone faces it alone. The poem also shows Larkin's disbelief in an afterlife. The tone is bleak, dark and depressing. Why is it a poem worth knowing? This poem gives us insight on our own mortality and how, are we, and how we are all death's victims. The contrasting images of children at play with the lifeless body shows us how um, life continues through the pain. It shows us um, the one certain thing in life is death and anyone could be next. Key quotes and why. Poor soul, they whisper at their own distress. Everyone fears death and another person's death reminds us of our own mortality. A unique blend of families and fashion begins to loosen. Death takes away everything. It is the only constant and certain thing in life. And does to distance all we are. Larkin doesn't believe in the afterlife and he thinks death is the end. All streets and time are visited. Eventually we will all face death. We are not immortal. And for a second get it whole. When the ambulance passes it reminds the people that they will die someday. It is stowed. The body is referred to as it, which shows us how death dehumanises people. The last poem that we're about to discuss is a Marundal tomb. The poem is about an effigy of the Earl of Arundel and his wife in the Chichester Cathedral. Although the statue is a symbol of love, Larkin shatters this illusion by calling it a lie. At the start, it seems optimistic. However, upon further inspection, we discover that Larkin's views on the couple are extremely pessimistic and cynical. Larkin also describes the passage of time. People have changed and the world around them. Larkin believes that love cannot conquer all, especially death. The statue has become romanticised by both the sculpture and the people visiting it. Why is an Arundel tomb worth knowing? Like the majority of Larkin's poetry, detailed description leads to a reflective insight. The statue portrays an image that love lasts forever. However, Larkin's view provides an insight that love cannot survive death. Larkin wants us to know that love cannot survive death, even though it is our common belief. We are hopeful that love survives everything. However, as Larkin puts it, our almost instinct, almost true. In this poem, he describes the blurred faces and how the statues have become less detailed to portray the, t the theme of the passage of time. The use of the pun lie also shows that the sculpture's depiction of the couple is not true. This poem is ultimately pessimistic. Key quotes and their significance. The first quote we chose is, They would not think to lie so long, such faithfulness and effigy. This is, a, this is an important quote because Larkin uses a pun. The word lie has a double meaning. The literal meaning that they are lying on their backs and the metaphorical meaning that their everlasting love is a lie. The next quote is, Time has transfigured them into untruth. Throughout the years, people perceived the effigy as a symbol of love, but that is not true. Due to the passing of time, people can no longer read the Latin inscription and don't know the full story. The last quote we have chosen is, Almost instinct, almost true. What will survive of us is love. The almost true signifies that while effigy, the effigy looks real, the everlasting holiday to their love is not.